In recent years, antibacterial products have flooded the market from soaps and cosmetics to consumer items, ranging from children's toys to hygiene products. Triclosan, the broad-spectrum antimicrobial agent, is a synthetic additive present in these products. Whether triclosan is making its way into the human body by way of skin absorption and mouth, mm -hmm. or coming into contact with bacteria found in the environment and waterways, it is raising questions regarding the development of bacterial resistance. Some level of triclosan resistance can occur in some microorganisms. The potential for cross-resistance to other antimicrobials is of larger concern. Studies investigating this possibility have been limited. For this reason, our project focuses on the truths behind triclosan's ability to develop cross-resistance amongst bacteria. So we asked the questions. Are there triclosan resistant bacteria present in the environment? Through our first experimental phase, we can conclude that resistant bacteria can be found naturally throughout the environment in water samples collected from rivers, streams, and ponds. Aside from our water samples, we also swabbed and cultured various bacteria samples found on commonly contacted surfaces within the city. In contrast to the environmental samples, the city bacteria were completely susceptible when plated on our triclosan gradient plates. Next, can we induce resistance by growing bacteria in ever-increasing concentrations of triclosan? We began with 14 chosen susceptible environmental and naive bacterial strains. With the teeter plates, we were able to prepare each broth filled well with specific increasing concentrations of the prepared triglosan stock. Through the use of teeter plates, we were able to successfully induce partial resistance amongst some of the susceptible bacteria. Does triglosan resistance coincide with antibiotic resistance? Once we identified the resistant strains, we used the Kirby Bauer method to compare them to the originally susceptible parent. Measurements were taken for each antibiotic disc kill zone before and after induction. On the whole, we observed cross-resistance between the antibacterial triclosan and antibiotics on the Kirby Bauer plates. Finally, can susceptible bacteria become triclosan resistant through transformation? In the final stage of our project, we attempted to transform susceptible bacteria by combining it with the resistant plasmid obtained through mini prep. In conclusion to the phase 4 transformation process, we discovered that susceptible bacteria may uptake resistant plasmid through transformation. As a result, when exposed to antibiotic and triclosan discs, the transformed bacteria showed cross-resistance.